so in our culture think that we can grieve alone. But the problem with that is that we'll never really go to the depths of our grief, the bottom of it, because we're all afraid we'll drown in it if we're by ourselves. And so what happens is we get this experience then of like going in deep and then we, you know, we kind of feel, okay, I've had enough and we come back out. And then we feel like, okay, I'm going in again. And we feel like we've done the whole same thing over and over again. And to a certain extent you have, but when you have somebody there who really knows you're not going to drown, you're not going to drown in it. And they can tell you and they can hold space for you and you trust them. Then you can go all the way through the bottom of it into the other side. And the other side of it is where the gift of the wound is. Mm. Every wound has a gift, but we can get stuck in the wallowing in the grief instead of the transforming and going through it all the way so that we get access to our gifts. I think that's really key what you just said. I love that. And I think it, I, I think it's a big, it is a big fear that we will start crying and never stop. Uh, and and I, I appreciate it because I can understand and remember that in myself at times. And then also I hear it from people. You know, if I go there, yes. I'll never stop. I'll never call out of it. But I think that you're right, that, that when, as you say it, that a big piece of that is if you have the communities to support it, yes. professional help or however we need to get it, it's there, there's an anchor back into yeah. the present. Mm-hmm.